I do know that when I was making a lot of money at one point in time, I was looking up how to buy an island on eBay. Chris Moneymaker eliminates Sam Imagine your favorite thing that you could do, your favorite hobby. Someone says, if you just do this all the time, we're going to pay you millions of dollars. It was a mint. It was a money factory. There were so many games. You could play so many hands, and the games were just that easy. Playing poker for a living was a way for me to be whatever brand of eccentric I wanted. I was banned originally from Australia when I was 21. This time, I was more so politely asked to leave. I never in a million years would have ever expected to grow up and be a professional online poker player. I would have said it was more likely that I would grow up to be an astronaut. Mommy want a big pot, what do you say? Ship it! Ship it! It's a very like interesting game when you think about it, like what would you do to prevent me from winning all your money? Like that's pretty much what it comes down to. Online poker funded the entire poker industry as we knew it in the 2000s. They paid me $110 billion, <laughs> and I, I, I was like, look, holding out for $120 billion, but all I got was 11 billion. I do want to be sponsored. I think that it would kind of validate my career. It would be cool to have a team to identify with that. I've never wanted the normal 9 to 5 routine. I'm Tony Dunst, known as Bond18 Online. Let's break it down. It's a, Get a job, job, right? Too, right? It's, it's not a bad poker. job. I can't complain in the slightest. Poker's definitely given me the opportunity to live life outside of the conventional system. In a way, the golden years of poker created this new idea of an American dream. Everyone globally bought it, but especially in this country, everyone bought it. It's a multi-billion dollar industry with millions of participants, and on Friday, it was shut down by federal agents. The FBI seized the domain names of poker stars, Full Tilt Poker, and prosecutors charged 11 people with fraud, money laundering, and illegal gambling. This is a declaration of war by the United States against these companies. Apparently, they're asking for upwards of $3 billion in fines. One of the things that players have found out is that even though we assume everything was on the up and up. Maybe things were a little more hidden than we would have liked to have known.